Prepare for rivals. Toggle Eden Blue. Toggle Eden Blue. Apparently my voice attacks decided to die on me. That's always good. <sighs> Test. Voice attack is working. Toggle Eden Blue. Toggle Love and Devotion Red. Right, so what we got at the beginning. Ooh, the defenders have only got two muskets. The attackers have only got one. Interesting. All right. I thought that would have been... A lot higher, yeah. Agreed. A lot worse. <laughs> a lot worse. You can hold if I'm being honest. For a while, then. <laughs> yeah. I was looking forward to just bitching the whole time. Why is there just 16 <laughs> fucking muskets running around? Uh, Hoggle head. Why me, Lord? Why me? Hoggle head. Oh, for fuck's sake, not again. Apparently, uh... I didn't, I didn't sort that command out, <laughs> so I have to do it manually. Get rid of my head, please. That's you, how are you doing, bud? And no face V, what games am I showing tonight? Obviously, Eden Loving Devotion is the, the first one that we're doing now. Two seconds to get into a decent position. Oh my god, why does it do this to me? That literally just sent me so far off the map. I just realised I got no music on the old time as well. Why did nobody tell me? They was enjoying your voice, man. Like at last, that background horrible shit's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've got Eden Love and Devotion now. Jack Ultras versus Chocolate Paladins at twenty one hundred CET, so roughly in an hour. Blame Elias and Pomgard roughly in two hours. Right, so let's see what these boys are going to be doing then. If I can't yeah, yeah. get control of the camera proper. It looks like they're trying to get rid of B Tower. Yeah. There's obviously no artillery allowed to be placed. The attackers have got obviously the crap tier stuff to push things. Got palace guards out, Fort Brachio, Iron Reapers. They've got Shenjis, they've got Flamers for later on in the fight. A couple of sets of Keshigs as well, but not too many. The defenders have got Shenjin. And flamers as well. But they've only got. Oh no, they've got three sets of flamers. They'll be saving those for the end point, though, definitely. Does look like it. Does look like they've set up more for sacrifice units for the start. Yeah. Save the bigger units for later on. Not definitely worried about losing. They've got four sets of uh, outriders out as well. This is like something that I thought might be pretty good because you've got the resupply right in the middle. And the, the explosive javelins do work, man. I would expect the attackers to go for B first, though, because they can use trebs. Obviously, you can't use that there. We've already covered this. <laughs> Dasu and the bullion <laughs> broken goes on on stream as well. Bullion broken is there's no there's no pause to the bullion of the broken. Just how it is. And so I reckon attacking B would be the easiest thing to do at the beginning. Because if they try stopping you, you can just treb all along that wall. His name is Jim, just gonna get grabbed by Amalia. Oh no, Zenga didn't see him. There's definitely quite a few malls hmm. made side. Four for the attackers. Two, two, three for the defenders. Right, so they're on B, they're not even gonna they're not even gonna contest it. No, it'd just be a waste of units with B to be fair. Sort of Scorpio shot. That must be the one outside. It's on supply, isn't it? Are you not allowed to build artillery, though? No, no, no. It's, it's just the one that's standardly there, isn't it? Oh, is that always there? Is that? I was going to yeah. say, what the fuck? Yeah. I thought that it wasn't in the supply. All right, never mind. I'll shut up. All right, so B's been captured, obviously. 
The defenders have still got their four sets of outriders out doing damage up onto the B point. Although most of the attackers actually missed that. Or dodged it, I should say. We've got a big push going around the back wall. Look, looks like they're going to go for C. Or are they going to go for that resupply? It looks like they're going to go push. for the resupply. Oh, uh, that's, C that's even, sorry, what am I about here? Have the defenders seen it? A is kind of wide open. Ghostex is trapping down the gate by the looks of it. I think at least I can get an angle of everything that's going on. The big fight's yeah, going to be over at C, though. There's four or five of them near the back supply. Just wondering. Oh, they've pushed up that side as well. Are they going to get onto the end point already? Try to keep an eye on. There's no actual fighting going on over here, so I'm not going to go over there just yet. If they do get attacked, though, from behind... Got a couple of sets of cavalry. What units have they got to stop this, though? Have they closed the gates? Looks Palace like... Guards fought a bracket. Yeah, they've closed the gates, yeah. That's actually a play that uh, me, and, me and Bob have spoken about. <laughs> Already, as the attack of that's maybe a good play to do. Is this not... Bob, right. <laughs> it's, it's, Is this not yeah. what I said, pretty much? <laughs> This yeah. is li like, but they, the only thing I do different... They haven't, left, yeah, they haven't left anyone on the stairs, that's probably the difference. Yeah, they've just pushed through, but it's very similar to what I said might be an actually a pretty decent way of doing this. I didn't say anything about going along the wall to the seaside though, but they're basically fighting on two fronts at sea. The attackers obviously can still treb as well. I think the defenders are going to get that fight over there, they've got reapers getting involved now. Well, if they set up well, they can draw them into the trebs now, isn't it? That's that's the problem with C. Yeah. It's got some good trebable points. It looks like they're winning C as well. Uh, mm -hmm. The units that the defenders have got to, to go against them are only route outriders. Or mainly outriders. So they're not going to do... That walk over there was pretty good as well, to be fair. It just completely stopped all the stuff at the bottom there. Like, outriders need time to work. Let's see if there's all else. They're going to get A as well. They're at least putting pressure on. Ghost X and Sexy Kebab. Forsaken Munchuk has just got in there though. Striker Rose, you're going to jump in there as well. I think it's a matter of time before they get C. Yeah, there's only just over Luke over there. Yeah, I would be climbing the ladders with heroes and getting your second units out now. Yeah, I think they're running through the gate now. Yeah, so there's Striker going already. He's just got his unit through as well. He's managed to save his Outriders. Bamberino though, is he going to get caught out? He might be able to get, just get through. Oh, he's been stopped. Has he been picked up? He's been picked up. <laughs> Bamberino's the dead. Forsaken Munchuk, though, and Ein Heri. The gate being closed. The gate has not been closed. Ah, oh, they've opened the back gate so they can get through there without using the units. Cool. So, yeah, A's going to get capped now. Yeah, very good rotation for Eden. Cronax, no artillery. One of the rules, you're not allowed to place artillery. You can use artillery that's on the map and you can use trebs, but you're not allowed to place any of your own artillery. I can't help but feeling that having Outriders out now is not going to be that much of a help though for the defenders. Uh, maybe having a setup to harass the walls. Like, if you've got yeah. Senjis up there, you need something to counter them. Um... Name is Jim Overlook, the only two muskets from the defenders, and the attackers only had two as well, didn't they? They don't have any out at the minute. Oh, yeah, they do overnight. They got one out. Okay. I hope it feel like that was not very well. What's he doing with a bombard there? <laughs> What's he doing? They're not allowed to build artillery. Are they just trolling or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking bombard and catapult. <laughs> Doctrines are allowed, runes are allowed. Um, you can have your customized armor as well. So if you've got like max leadership, you can have max leadership and bring the units uh, that you can afford, basically. Um, I think that's the main rules. Just no artillery. You can use all your own gear. You can use your own, own units. Doctrines are allowed, runes are allowed. Can you think of what else, Bob, rules wise? Uh, no, there's. No, there's no other, other rules on, on that, to be fair. So obviously, it's just two games. Um, well, obviously, with the previous tournaments, the tournaments have been good, but I do like this league set up because yeah. sometimes... Because the other deaths, there's no death count, so you yeah. can die as many times as, like, obviously, it gets slower and slower. You respawn, but it's not too bad. So the attackers just climbed the wall in strength just to bait units up so they can treb them. Um, 
I mean, that was a pretty tasty trip, to be fair. That's into Iron Reapers, that's into Grey Air Garrison. I think that even just took out a hero as well, so... And now they are climbing with units on this side. Is that Palace Guards? Nice. That's Palace it's Guards. a good wall push. Uh, yeah. They time that well. They've got um, Namcams at the bottom of the wall as well, just putting Bleed on top. But all of the defenders that are getting up there... That treble well, looks it's, like it's, it's probably, probably going to hit is more... It's a perfect strat, isn't it? Because you can't kick ladders down then. Yeah. That's going to hit mainly their own stuff, isn't it? Yeah. But well, they've been lucky, though. Been very lucky that they only got two from there. What's going on here? It looks like the defenders are going to sally out. Oh, Overnight's just been caught out and nuked. Bad times. What unit did he have? He had Shenjin. Okay. The wall's firmly in Eden's control now. Firmly in Eden's control. Right, do you know I'm going to go on this angle and then I can actually see what the fuck's going on. Back gate this is nothing. This is where if I was Love and Devotion, I'd send someone out to cap the supply. Because most of them are on the wall. You mean this, uh, this supply down here? Like the yeah, one back here? Just, yeah. just to cause harassment. Make, keeping heroes away for as long as you can. Yeah, so they're trebbing the gateway now. Is that Modal that just sat there? Yeah, it does. Wrong, wrong <laughs> point. Oh, they're trebbing themselves though. Wasn't the best treb. Don't get me wrong, the, the wall setup is really, really good, but it's, you, you're limited to just coming down the stairs, and once your Senjis are out of bombs... Yeah. The defenders can basically just wait, slowly rotate back and heal their stuff. Looks like that's what Striker's going to do now as well. Striker's still got his Outriders out as well, he does. He's got Palace Guards over here. Obviously the Flamers are out. How many Flamers are out for the defenders? They're at least going to have two. They've got two sets of flamers out. Attackers have got none, but they've got three, four sets of Shenjin out. Yeah, I'd, I wouldn't use flames on the attack, really, to nah. be fair. Like... Difficult. They've got javelins out as well, the attackers. Oh, was that? No, that was grenades. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a projectile just fly over and it looked like the jab projectile from this range. Like the main push is going to come through here now, though. Shenjin's up, they've got palace guards. Got quite a few palace guards. They've got Mudao. Yeah, they're looking to just try so the flame is back here the second. Oh, controls, man, I keep doing it the wrong way around. Oh, that's the attacker. Are uh, the attackers? The defenders sallying out, even. That's a good, good call, actually. Good counter with four dudes. They've got quite a bit of cavalry out here as well. Yeah. Didn't maybe do too much work, but they've distracted him enough. Well, yeah, it just breaks the setup for the push, delays it for whatever reason. Forsaken's dead, though. But I'd say that was worth it, man. Um, just making the attackers react for a change rather than being the ones to, to dictate when and where everything is going to happen. Yeah, like, that's the thing, isn't it? You've got to, when you see the opportunity to harass oh, outside jabs, the gates, though. you have got to take it. Are all the jabs going to die? No. Unfortunate. I reckon if they're in that a little bit earlier, maybe V attack them for Brachio, that would have all been gone. They've got a lot of pressure, like presence upon the wall. Looks like Nami's. Oh no, Nami's got the shields, hasn't he? Right, yeah, Nami's got the shields. He's not going to be able to uh, sally out. Not, at least not with his unit very well. They've got Flamers, shields, and Fort Brachio over there. That's going to be solid for a push. What's Samurai Kick doing? He <laughs> just jumped off. What's he doing? Oh, he's going for the Shenjins. Mm. I don't think he killed out though, did he? No. Maybe one no. unit? They're fairly tanky, the Shenjins. Like, There's you 12 of them left, properly. so he's lost. he just killed three. Or at least there's now three dead. I don't know if he killed three. I suppose a good shout if they were just constantly bombing. And just like, he didn't have a unit left and he's not died once yet, so... Samurai Kick. I didn't show you on the screen, does it? Samurai Kekka's... That, that's his second death, so it's not going to take too long to get back in. And he was maybe hoping that they just wouldn't react as quickly. Oh, well, that was a good treb, actually. The Iron Reapers? Mudao. Like, Eden, they're going to have to get a move on, though. Unit-wise, they've got a slight advantage. Slight advantage... But 
Love and Devotion have lost more, so Love and Devotion just got straight up more. Yeah, right, yeah, they've got a lot more players with four units. Like, can you see anything going on? Like, is there a reason why no, Eden's it's, waiting it's, here? It's very stalemate. Like, to be fair to, to Eden, I think they're kind of stuck because Love and Devotion's rotation has been fairly good and obviously harassing outside the gate, back gate, especially. Yeah. Um, they're doing the same thing again, other than it, because what's this here? That's pretty palace guys. Okay. I, th I, think, I think Eden seemed like they're. Oh, are oh, they pushing here in comes there? to push him a bit. They're at no, least stacked here. Testing. Yeah, I think they're oh, just slightly worried just in case if they leave the back gate open that they get flanked themselves. Samurai Kek again, but I think Samurai Kek's only got Village Watchman, so he's. I think all of his units are dead. That's why he's basically the bait, let's say. <laughs> General Reaper, rest in pieces, my dude. I think, I think he's dead. Oh, literally, that's literally what you call gang rape. Sorry, my yeah, dude. Yeah, that's definitely uh, Liam's forte, that is. He loves yeah. that. I mean, I like the skin, though. You could have at least done, like, a nice pose in death. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so they got Outriders out the Defenders again to just get rid of the stuff up on that wall. That's actually a good shout. Are they... Oh, that's Javelin Sergeant's move. Here comes the push. Oh, yeah, Here it is. But they got Flamers up. they got Madau up. they got Fort Abraco up. The attacking heroes, though, straight around the back of the Fort of Brachio, getting rid of them. The flames down here, though, need to get rid of, and they haven't yet. Palace Guards, though, got CC cooldown, so they might actually be the perfect unit. The attackers are now using Flamers, though, to get rid of them. Oh, push down from stairs. Yeah. They've got a dude in the back as well, going for resupply, just being a pain. I think the attacker's doing pretty well oh, here yeah. as well. They saw, yeah. they saw the opportunity, what looks of Defenders it. have just lost five heroes as well. That was a really well-timed push, man. Do you know what I liked about that? There was like five dudes that just run around the back of the main formation and all just dismounted into their ass and just completely stunlocked the shit out of it. Yeah. Yep. And then using the Palace Guard CC immunity to, to get rid of the flames as well was a good shot. Yeah, they didn't let the flames do the work that they could have. Yeah. They've definitely got control of the point. Path Bear's on there now. I don't know if they've got the... Uh... So they might be able to clear this. They've got Kashyyyk coming from both sides. The enemy is about to capture the final flag. Oh, the attackers have still got uh, the flames up, though. Yeah, yeah, them flames have done work. They've got Trebs coming down as well. That's a good Treb. Oh, and Kel was... in the back. Yeah. That was a very decisive push when Eden decided to go then, man. Very decisive. The Vasectomy is actually the team captain as well. And I think Namio is like the stand-in of both of them, the two best players on their teams. That's that's fucking good to see, man. Yeah, no. 611 fair, units, go stay. It was a fair, fair credit on the push. It was timed down to T. They were definitely drawing him to try and use the Trebs as much yeah. as possible before pushing in. Um... I think that's what they were maybe just getting rid of their resources first, so they weren't wasting anything maybe to make like because there was no need to to, to to panic maybe. They were thinking like, what's the point in pushing when we can still use all these trebs and get rid of more, like more units? Yeah. Um, See, I, I definitely would have gone out and capped that supply point because you could have got a couple of set of outriders out because that gate was hardly touched in fairness, and ugly if you had a couple.